This is MIUI 10, 20th September 2018 Global Public Beta on Redmi Note 3. Still based on Android Marshmallow, but there are some new things which I'm gonna show you in this video. This is Tiro and you are watching Carry and Tech, so let's just begin. Even though the Redmi Note 3 is quite old now and it's handling MIUI 10 really good, you may hate the ads inside MIUI 10, but still, the overall UI is a lot better and a lot smoother than it previously was. If you wanna flash it on your device, you can check description for the installation guide. And you can see this MIUI 10 version as you can see 8920 global beta and still based on Android Marshmallow. Which is really sad but it's typical Xiaomi, we can't help it. The security patch here is still of July 2018. Now let me open a few apps and show you how fast and snappy it is. Well here comes the annoying ads, if you wanna get rid of the ads in MIUI, you can check out Dhananjay Bhosale's video from the description. Well, did you guys notice the YouTube dark theme? If you want to enable it, just tap on your profile picture on top right corner inside YouTube app. Now go to settings and general. From here, you will see this dark theme. Just enable it if you want to use the dark theme or dark mode. As you can see, app pinup speeds are fast enough and the animations really does look dope and all the apps are in memory so the memory management in my opinion I feel is definitely better than the previous build so far. And we have the MIUI 10 recent panel kinda boxy cards looking design and I personally like it. You can remove the apps like this just by swiping to the sides. Now let's talk about the camera. Even though we do not have the portrait mode yet inside the stock camera, the camera does have the MIUI 10 look now. As you can see the camera UI does look like MIUI 10. A good thing you will find in the video section though, you are gonna notice that we have option to shoot 1080p full HD 60fps videos. I think it's kind of software based, I tested it, it was not quite as 60fps as you can call it, it was just fast forwarding like crazy, so it's kind of buggy I guess. And on the stock launcher which is the MIUI launcher of course feels pretty smooth, pretty much straight butter and widgets and stuff does work super fine. And if you want to know that what are the things working over here and what are not, I can pretty much say that everything works super fine. And Vaulty, Fingerprint Scanner, Banking Apps, everything will be working super fine, so don't worry. Only problem which I have noticed and I can call it a real problem is still the app installation time. While installing any APK or downloading apps from Play Store takes forever to install, which really sucks and I think this problem is because of Marshmallow. And I was expecting face unlock but sadly nope, no face unlock option here so you may or may not see it in the future. In terms of battery life it can give you more than 4.5 or 5 hours of screen on time so don't worry about the battery life even though the device is 3 years old, the battery life is fine like 5 hours of screen on time is pretty livable. Now let me show you the gaming performance of this ROM. Yes, I did play PUBG and no, I did not face any kind of major issues like huge frame drops or even stutters. 
Just enjoy the gameplay. And here is a MIUI 10 volume panels which are pretty convenient in my opinion as you can see works super fine. So if you are someone who feels custom ROMs are not your thing and you love MIUI, this is the one you should flash right now on your Redmi Note 3. Almost everything just works super fine. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks so much for watching this video on KDN Tech. I am Tito signing off and I'll catch you guys in the next one.